terminal team defender gameplay. Um, I go 35 and 14. I'm in a full party. It's team tech. Um, I just have some a couple nice streaks. Um, and yeah, so today's also high school stories episode thir 12, 13. I, th I don't know which one. Um, but real quick before I start that, I would like to announce that the montage will be out either November 1st or November 2nd. Uh, that's a Saturday or Sunday. Um, I will confirm the final date once I get it edited from Nate. Um, it could be out even earlier than that. It's coming out coming out on a weekday or weekend. I mean, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, but it's coming out on a weekend. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited for it. Uh, just finishing up, getting make, making sure that all the right clips are in there, which I'm glad I did because I just found out that I didn't put in one of my best moments. Uh, it's an MW3-4 piece that I got. Uh, that's one of my most proud moments. So, yeah. Um, but that's all I'm going to say about the montage. Uh, really excited for it. But, yeah. So, anyway, high school stories. So, I might be able to tell us two. Um, just for now, I'm going to start with the confined space drill. So, confined space is what it sounds like. A small space. And it's in, it's in this, like, trailer. It's kind of... Um, how should I describe it? Like a like a camper, like one that you'd pull for, with a truck or something like that. It's in one of those, and it's um, v pitch black in there. And uh, what you do is you walk in, and you do what's called a right-hand search. So you f keep your hand on the right wall and move it up and down. I'm kind of making them, like, doing it just to kind of remember. And you swing a tool around with your other hand, and that's what's called a primary right-hand search. Um... And what it is is like you do that when you're looking for people if you think there's someone in the house or something like that. And uh, I'm not I'm not an expert on this, guys. I'm just telling you guys how I've learned it and like what I've learned. So anyway, we walk into the house, well the trailer, and as immediately you take a sharp right. And when you take this right, it's um you climb up a ladder and you jump over a wall, but you have to test with your tool or else. Um, or else you'll get told you have to go back over the wall and climb over the ladder again and like you have to restart the whole thing because what you have to do is you every time you're in a building you test the wall or you test the floor when you're about to step on it so you get like a like for example I had a six foot uh, New York hook which is uh, I won't be able to put a picture of that on the screen but um, it's very easy to it's very hard to explain it's kinda uh, I don't know how to explain it really just look up a New York hook um, but I had, a, I had a six foot New York hook, so the thing, the tool's taller than me, um, and I just like, I took the end of it and tested the floor, make sure it was good, um, tested the wall, make sure it would be able to hold me when I jumped over, so that way it wouldn't fall under me. I mean, we all knew it would it would hold, but it was just because we have to be trained to do the stuff right, or else because if you train to do the stuff wrong, then you're not going to remember to do it in a real thing. And that could cause that could cause a death or a serious injury, and um, you don't want that. So um, anyway, once I got past that, there were steps with wires on it, and this is where I started panicking. So you have to go down the steps backwards when you're in a building that way, because because your center of gravity will be falling forward. So that way, if like the step comes out under you, you'll fall onto the steps in front of you. It sounds painful, but I'd rather fall on the steps in front of me than fall to God knows how far um, and get injuries to my back and other things so um, anyway your center of gravity is leaning forward so you'll fall up the steps and you'll be able to pull yourself up um, so that's the reasoning behind that and what they did is they put up a wire it's perfectly safe not electrical or anything um, no hazard to you in training in real life there is a small hazard but most of the time if wires come down the electricity is off anyway but you just got to be careful. So I started panicking because my uh, air pack got stuck. Because we were breathing on air. Because we have to learn how to do that too. Because it it may it may seem simple like you're just breathing, but you got to remember there's only 45 minutes in a bottle. Some some bottles have 60, some bottles have 30, and you got to remember that you only have that, and that's your lifeline. If you don't have that, you're if you run out of that, you're screwed. So they were teaching us to how to how to get out. I was in the building, just so you guys know, I was in there f between 10 and 15 minutes because um, of me getting stuck on stuff. And 
Anyway, so I got caught on the wires with my air pack on, and I started panicking. It's the first time I've ever been in a situation like this. Even though it's training, it's still scary. Like, um, I started panicking. I had a nervous breakdown. I, I mean, I didn't have a breakdown. Like, I didn't cry and scream and everything, but I, I had, like... I was already nervous enough, but and I was it made me more nervous, and I was kind of jumpy for the rest of the thing. So I got my pack stuck. I just they told me you have to swing your arms back, hit the wire off your air pack, which is easier said than done because those straps are tight. You want to make sure that pack doesn't fall off, because that's 40 pounds that you're dragging if that pack falls off. So so um, once I'm once I get on on. I was the first person that night to actually get myself un untangled from the wires without needing help. So they were proud of me for that. It's also, real, real quick guys, it's my first time doing this trailer. It was yesterday when I'm making this video, two days ago when you're seeing it. Um, it was my first time doing it, so I, was, I didn't know what to expect, so I was already nervous going into it. So anyway, um, they tell me, okay, um, and I get yelled at because I'm standing up in a building. You're supposed to be on your uh, knee, hands and knees, or on one knee. And I mean, I knew that, but I was having, I was kind of a nervous wreck, so I wasn't thinking. And um, they just, they just said, "Why are you standing up?" And I said, "Oh, sorry." And I went down into the, the, the on one knee. I don't know how to really what to call it. So, um, and then they said, "All right, now you're gonna go through this tunnel. The tunnel is." Um, if you guys have seen my setup video, and if you guys have seen my desk, it's probably it's probably about maybe two feet high and two feet wide. So you don't have that much space. It's very uncomfortable. You're laying down with an air pack on. Um, basically laying down. It, it gets higher and lower at some points. Like the entrance is like about three feet by three feet. Then it's two. It 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 ends up being like two feet by two feet, and then ends in three feet by three feet. Um, so it's very, like, nerve, like, it's very, if you're claustrophobic, it's not for you. Um, so anyway, I go through there, get my pack stuck on the wall, start panicking even more. I went through 30 minutes of air in the amount of time I was in the building, which isn't too bad. I mean, I've heard of worse, but, uh, yeah, real quick, I'm going to pause this commentary, and I'm going to get you guys a, a quick clip from Overwatch. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, back to where I was. I started panicking because my pack got stuck on the wall. And um, I was like freaking out. My tool got stuck then. And I ended up going through 30 minutes of air in about 10 to 15 minutes. Now most guys who are trained to breathe usually last about 21 minutes on a 45 minute bottle. Um, now the reason that is, is what you're like because you're working, you're breathing heavier. And I mean, as much as you try to control your breathing, it's impossible. Um, it's impossible to, comp to get 45 minutes out of a bottle. Now, they've done tests, especially my company, we've done tests where we're seeing how much air you can breathe, or how long you can last on a bottle with um, just sitting down. And we, actually, we had one person last two and a half hours on a 45 minute bottle because they were relaxing. Um, so anyway, back to what I was saying, uh, I started freaking out because I got stuck on the wall, and uh, finally, John from Station 5, which is, I know you guys don't know the stations, it's just easier to say it that way because I don't really want to give away anybody, but I've already been over that, um, said he was going to help me, so he helped me, uh, calmed me down a little bit, then led me through the tunnel. Um, he, I didn't really cheat, but like it was my first time, most times they have a senior pack guy helping you and they didn't with me and I was freaking out and uh, because it's confined spaces it's um, nerve-wracking especially if you're not like if you don't like confined spaces if you're a big guy like me I'm about five I don't know how tall I am like five ten five five eleven five ten five nine I don't know between five nine and five eleven and I'm a big guy so I don't like confined spaces so uh, that's one thing that's known about me and so anyway it was a great experience I learned how to do a search and rescue and yeah so anyway guys the streak I showed you here is a 13 gun streak um, I think I cut it off too early actually yeah I think I did one second guys
Uh, no, actually I didn't, I don't. Uh, so... <sighs> Sorry about that, guys, I had the wrong clip in, um, uh, in the, before I had rendered the video out, but, anyway, back to what I was saying. So a trained guy can use 21 minutes on a bottle because you're working. We had a girl who went two and a half hours without work, like, sitting on a couch, um, in, on one 45 minute bottle, and it's just... Like, the confined space thing is nerve-wracking because it's your first, it was my first time packing up. Well, it's, it was my third time packing up. And, uh, it was my first time actually having, being not able to see. Actually, I, that's not true, but it's the first time I've had to find my way out. Like, the first time I wasn't able to see, I was fine. I had somebody with me. I would have been able to find my, like, they would have let me out because we were in the back of the station. Because of... Um, like, they would have let me out if I needed to get out. This, you had to go through. Once you were in the tunnel, you had to go through. You couldn't get out. And it, it was stressful. Uh, it was very scary, I guess you can say. Uh, it opened my eyes to what it's really like, but I'm really looking forward to being able to do it permanently now. Um, like, not permanently, but being able to do it in the future. So, it was a good drill. Uh, good story to tell. It was a great learning experience for me. So, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my story. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I went 17-1 in this uh, second clip, by the way. Thanks for watching.